This is a three mark question that appeared in 2018 CBC class 10 board paper. It appeared from the topic quadratic equations. It's a word problem. Essentially, the information given in this paragraph, we need to convert it into a mathematical expression, which as we know is going to become a quadratic equation. Solve the quadratic equation and find the answer. Let's get started. A plane left 30 minutes late than its scheduled time. And in order to reach the destination 1500 kilometers away on time, it had to increase its speed by 100 km per hour. What we need to find out is the usual speed of this flight. Let's get started. Let's assign certain variables. The distance covered is equal to 1500 km. Let the usual speed be s km per hour and let the usual time taken be t hours. This time the flight left, the plane left 30 minutes late and it reached on time which essentially means that it is covering the distance in half an hour lesser time. So time taken this time will be if the usual time is t, it's going to be half an hour lesser than that. So the time taken in this instance is equal to t minus 0.5 hours. How did it manage it? It increased its speed by 100 km per hour. Usual speed is s. This time the speed has gone up by 100. So speed in this instance is equal to s plus 100 km per hour. How are we going to solve it? The distance traveled is 1500 kilometers, irrespective of whether it left on time, whether it traveled at a higher speed. So let's equate both these things. So distance traveled usually is 1500 kilometers. In terms of an expression, this is going to be S into T is equal to 1500 speed into time. In this instance, also it covered the same 1500 kilometers. So what is the equation panning out to? The speed in this instance is equal to S plus 100. Time taken is equal to t minus 0.5. This should be equal to 1500. We need to find the value of the usual speed. We need to find the value of s. What are we going to do? Let's replace this t or substitute t as 1500 by s in the second equation. t is equal to 1500 by s. Let's plug that in here. So the equation will become s plus 100 into instead of t, let's replace it with a 1500 by s minus 0.5 this is equal to 1500. Take s to be the common denominator. So s plus 100 into 1500 minus 0.5 s divided by s is equal to a 1500. Cross multiply this s and expand the term on the left hand side. Let's do that here. s plus 100 into 1500 minus 0.5 s. This is equal to 1500 s. We cross multiplied this yes. Expand the term. Yes into 1500 will give us a 1500 yes. Yes into 0 0.5 s is going to be minus 0 0.5 yes square. 100 into 1500. This is going to be equal to 1,50,000. It's a big number. Don't worry. 100 into minus 0 0.5 s is going to be equal to minus 50 s. This is equal to 1500 yes. Cancel 1500 s on both sides. Divide this entire equation by a minus 0.5. So it leaves us with s square. Minus 0.5 when it divides 1,50,000, you're going to get minus 3 lakhs. Minus 50 divided by minus 0.5 will be a plus 100. So plus 100 is this equals 0. So we have quadratic equation where the sum is 100, product is a minus 3 lakhs. What will make this? How do we factorize it? Yes, 6 into 5 is a 30. 600 into 500 will give us a 3 lakhs. So it's going to factorize as s square plus 600 s minus 500 s minus 3 lakhs is equal to 0. So this will factorize into s plus 600 into s minus 500 equals 0. So s plus 600 equals 0 translating to s equals minus 600. s minus 500 equals 0 translating to the fact that s is equal to 500. The flight speed, the speed of the plane cannot be a negative number. So the usual speed s yes, is equal to 500 kilometers per hour. Let's quickly run through this entire calculation of framing the equation and factorizing it in a printed form. The usual speed is s, yes, usual time is t. The distance covered 1500 can be written as s yes into t equals 1500. In this instance, the speed is s plus 100, time is equal to t minus 0.5. The product of these two, speed into time, will also be equal to 1500. We'll replace this t with a 1500 by s from equation 1 into equation 2. So this is what it basically pans out to. Cross multiply this s to get this expression. When you cross multiply it, this is what you're going to get. Expand the left hand side term. So it leaves us with 1500 s minus 0.5 s square 
plus 1 lakh 50 thousand which is 1500 into 100 minus 50 s equals 1500 s cancel these two divide the entire expression by 0 0.5 to get a quadratic equation s square plus 100 s minus 3 lakhs product is minus 3 lakhs sum is plus 100 you can factorize it as a 600 into 500 so it's a plus 600 and a minus 500 so the expression factorizes as x plus 600 into s minus 500 equals 0 so s is either minus 600 or s equals 500 s is the usual speed of the plane speeds cannot be negative so usual speed of the plane equals 500 kilometers per hour supercharge your math quotient sign up today for online cbc math classes at online.maxtute.com i'll repeat it it's online.maxtute.com and before you leave check out the related videos and remember to subscribe to this channel